know where it's at. It's right there, it's right there. I'm down. I want to see Yes, family. We are still here at La City Cultural Village. Just when you think the presentation is over, we got another nice one for you. So as you can see family, every single last village and community that we've visited is completely different and just you know, embrace the culture. Yeah. Like, as we connect back to the cradle of mankind and the cradle of all the historical cultural village settings here in South Africa and Lesotho. Right, friends! This it is our last village, Peri village, Baberi. The sons and daughters of the great king, King Sikukune, and they had the rain queen by the name of Queen Mujaj, who had the power to make the rain to fall and to stop again. So before I tell you more, let us kindly greet the family by saying Tobela. 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 Tobela, the family is welcoming us. <laughs> Their meeting place. Gathering place for Men. 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 <laughs> no, at least yeah, you are. <laughs> you know, you are allowed. We just keep taking places where well, well, I'm not welcome. In this one, you are allowed. No, in this one, you are allowed. <laughs> Ladies are allowed to be in this meeting place <laughs> by bringing food and beer. Oh. So again, oh. I'm not welcome. So we got a list. You can come visiting them, giving something to drink, and then you go back to the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> it's no. better than nothing. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we identify them by wearing the Scottish kilts. I hope that you know why they were like that. No. No. You know, eh? Yeah, he told yeah they need fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. As you saw in the video, they had a war with the British and then the British teamed up with the Scottish. Mm. So they didn't fight what they thought was an army of women. They lost the battle and then the surviving warriors, they then adopted the skills as a remembrance of the triggering. That is why even today, once you visit them up in the north, in Popo, you'll find them holding in skulls once mm. they do ceremonies. Mm. Dancing, rejoicing, because of now it's a good story to tell for the upcoming generation. That was the first war in southern Africa to be lost without fighting. Mm. Now, for a man to get married, a man he pays 13 cows for one wife, one three. Mm. They don't marry out of prettiness. They believe that pretty ladies are pretty lazy. Mm. <laughs> That's not me. That's not me. Is there? <laughs> If you are pretty and a hard worker, it's a bonus. As you can hear that side. The lady, instead of grinding, she needs to pound the maize three times a day. And after doing it, she's going to kneel down, polishing the floor with cow dung. In New York, you call it cow shit. <laughs> That's true. The reason why they polish the floor with cow dung three times per day it is because of whenever cows are out for grazing, they're eating different types. So while the cow dung is dry, you won't see any flies. Or mosquitoes in your village. Mm. So here in South Africa, we call it South African mosquito repellent. Mm. <laughs> Not something shit, eh? No. <laughs> okay. And there's something special for us over here. The caterpillars. Mopani worms. Oh, thank you. These are the dried mopani worms. Sometimes they do cook it, putting some onions and tomatoes. Thank you. Very high in protein. Mm. They call it masonja in their language. Crunchy, salty. Carapillas. Is for real? Yes, this is for real. Apparently, this is what people are eating. <laughs> are you Some people are eating it. I'm about to show you a video of who eating it too. Crunchy, <laughs> salty. Guide money, crunch on one so I can show, record you. Yeah, <laughs> trust, trust me. I believe you. I believe you. Just crunch and salty. I believe you. Everywhere I go, people try to get us eat insects and we just, <laughs> this is not part of our diet. I got pray over this first. I got pray over this first. Like, seriously. I'm recording, I'm recording. I got evidence. Oh my goodness. <laughs>
Alright. It just don't fit with the diet, right? Caterpillar. Don't do it, don't do it. We don't have a hospital nearby. Oh, you made a good point. I'm gonna pray over it. Ancestors you took it, you can't What it tastes like, almond? That's like a chip. Like a chip. A chewy chip. We've been buying them on the corner. Okay. Okay. See that? What it tastes like? Like a chip. Like a chip. Did you eat it? Yeah. You saying it like you eat it all the time. Okay, friends, and then the last one before we go. What's wrong with you, Mom? The last no, one before we turkey. go, inside the village, we have a small portion known as Sebat Labadimu, the ancestral place. See, whenever they do ceremonies, they'll brew the traditional beer. But before they drink it, they need to visit the small portion with the calabash full of, the, full of their beer. Before they drink it, they kneel down, pour inside the small portion, take a sip and spit it off. By doing it, they are communicating with their ancestors, telling them about the purpose of the ceremony that will be held in the village. That means they'll be asking their ancestors to celebrate and rejoice with them wherever they are. Even today, once we do ceremonies, we can't start a ceremony without pouring down first. We need to do it to honor those people who pass on before us in this land. They go from the so friends, that's all yeah. about the pedis and this is the end of the little liquor. Let us thank them by saying reality. You see, that's family. You see where we get all the things from, family? We yeah. Yes, my brother. Great cultural presentation, yeah. always. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Can so we... follow me this way. <laughs> the family has been great. It's been incredible. There you go, Monique. Take some pictures with the warriors. Yes, warrior skills right there. Warrior energy. Don't you want to join us? Let me, let me get you uh? my phone. Like, by the time... Yeah. Mr. Bomani Dakari. Okay. <laughs> phone is available for you. But... See how he oh, he's gone. He got he to gotta own all the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, so family, look at a beautiful photo right there. Two of our group members and two of our warrior brothers. Because that's because you want to take your picture first. You, you shut me down. <laughs> yeah, he shut you down. There you go. And what we're going to do before we walk out of here is I'm going to show you this other part of the village. There you go. Perfect photo. I ate one, I ate my food, eat, drink, your baby. I ate a caterpillar. You ate the caterpillar. When in Africa, if that's all I had, I'd be all right. I'd be eating them like chips. Give me your phone. Eating them like chips. I have phone on your trauma. Let's just buy you real quick. Mm -hmm. Eat them like chips. Sounds great. This is just a beautiful layout. Oh, that is some straight, serious work right there, family. So you want the video? Yes. And plus this thing is heavy. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I look happy! Okay, you got it? You want a picture? You want a picture? Yeah, that was a lot of work. I did something like that. Bella, all right, all right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's doing that. <laughs> it's not a part of our diet. Uh, it's not. It's not. <laughs> you know, a caterpillar could be eating all kind of stuff. Next thing you know, you got malaria. Next thing you know, you got all kind of stuff. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Suitable for framing. Yes, Charlie, ready to go? Mm -hmm. So we are done. Uh, yes, uh, going back around to the front, so we're leaving the last village family and we're just going to follow the walk and pave all the way back. And then go to the front and uh, get some uh, nice photos here and there and let's get ready to enjoy us, have a beautiful lunch.
So family, the journey continues.